Hello there guys, uh, this is Dolly Truck. Today I'm gonna do an oil change on a 2004 Toyota uh, 4 runner. I'm gonna show you guys the way I do it. Let's get to it. This is a vehicle that I am doing an oil change today. Uh, first, I, I like to start the engine warm. So uh, when I'm doing the oil, uh, everything comes out nice and easily. Okay, uh, my first step is to properly chalk the rear wheels so uh, the vehicle doesn't roll back. As you can see, I do have a, a kind of like a hill driveway, uh, so that's what I uh, usually do. This is a 2004 uh, Toyota Four Runner. an old vehicle as you can see I I'm uh, been doing a oil change on this vehicle that's my initial right there All right, let's jack her up. Remember to always use a jack stand. Your jack is just a lifting equipment and it's better to uh, use a proper jack stand to secure the vehicle. On this Toyota 4Runner, here's the oil drain plug. Now always make sure you uh, open the engine oil dipstick and you want to open the oil filler cap. That way uh, the oil will drain much easier and more thoroughly. Okay, this 2004 Toyota 4Runner takes at least 7 quarts of uh, engine oil. This is a 5W30 uh, mobile one engine oil. For this uh, particular vehicle model, the oil filter is on the top here. Take that out. That's an aluminum washer. Uh, I already inspected and it's still good. So I'm gonna reuse it. All right guys, make sure the engine oil drains off completely. 
they don't usually do this when you take your uh, vehicle to get an oil change you can only get this kind of service at home draining the engine oil completely out well at least uh, 98 percent out if you take your vehicle to any other shop some of them don't even uh wait until the engine oil is completely drained out and they just put the drain plug back in there so if you want quality it's always at home that's the condition of the oil yeah like i said some shop all they really care about is uh how they get your vehicle in and out as fast as possible so uh most shop don't even let the engine oil drain completely out because it's all about uh, time and time is money so the best way is uh, you do your your own oil change that way you get the best service so always recycle your oil I got this uh, small I think it's a 30 gallon tank from work uh when it's full i usually uh take it to work and then i drain all the waste oil out you could always take it to any uh auto parts uh store to have them uh recycle your engine oil but to me i like it this way better because i don't have time to keep on running to those auto parts stores When you put that engine oil drain plug back in there, make sure you don't over torque it because you could easily strip off the pan. Uh, if you do happen to strip off the pan threads, uh, you could easily repair that. Most shops nowadays, which is highly recommend selling you a brand new engine oil pan and that's just gonna cost you uh, money and labor time. Uh, but to me and most mechanic out there, they'll highly just recommend you uh, repair that, that damage hole uh, by installing a brand new heater core in there. Now, by installing a heater core in there, it'll last twice as long as a brand new uh, engine oil pan. What I always do is uh, apply a small amount of uh, engine oil on this uh, gasket here before you install it. That way when you take the oil filter back out, it's, uh, it's a lot easier too. These oil filters, uh, you always want to torque by hand only. You don't want to torque by any other wrench or tools because uh, you're just going to damage the thread and it's just going to make it really hard when you uh, try to remove it. Okay, time to... Uh, Fill her up. On this particular video, I like I like to uh, open all the oil this way. Uh, it's much quicker for me to uh, do my videos. And I don't really want this video to last too long. These are synthetic engine oil. So I like to use every single drop of it. The synthetic oils are much, much uh, expensive. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, uh, I always recommend my customer and uh, on my own vehicle, 
I like to do it in the oil change every 3,000 miles. Now the the manufacturer uh, recommend for an oil change around some vehicles like 7,000, some like uh, 5,000 miles before you are uh, doing oil change. But to me, I always like to do every single 3,000 miles because uh, I just like it that way, and I. I, that way my vehicle is uh, not gonna have any issue along the, the road so every 3,000 miles is uh, what I usually do on my vehicles and uh, some of the friends or customers that I have uh, I usually recommend and do every 3,000 miles So I would start out at 6 quarts and then uh, just keep on topping it off until the engine oil is at level. I kind of paused the video and went back to those bottles and get every single last drop of those uh, oil in there just to let you guys know because these are synthetic oil they are really expensive they're right at the uh, level line there so technically I'm gonna start the engine and recheck the engine oil level just to uh, level it out Okay, got the engine running. Uh, now, uh, I'm gonna recheck the engine oil level. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. There you go. Right at the second dot there. Even if you go above just uh, uh, a couple, uh, like a one eighth or one sixteen inch above that second dot, uh, it should be fine. It doesn't have to be exactly on the dot. Uh, I always like to uh, put it like at least a little bit much uh, higher than the second dot. Okay, to reset the maintenance light. On this uh, 2004 uh, Toyota 4Runner, all you have to do is uh, turn the ignition key on while uh, holding on to this reset button. So what I usually do is I usually hold on to this re uh, reset button here and then uh, go and turn the ignition key on. But I did already on this one here, so that's why you, you didn't see the uh, maintenance light on. So make sure you press on this reset uh, button here and then come over here and turn the ignition key on do not start the engine just turn it on and the maintenance light will go off all right guys this is it for this video now thanks a lot for watching my channel and we'll see you on the next video bye bye hello guys this is Tholi truck Hey, for those of you that just tuned into my channel and don't really know who I am or what my channel is about, I'm a truck technician. I'm also an automotive technician. I graduated in St. Paul Technical College back in 1997 in automotive service. And now I'm currently in truck service for 17 years. I kind of like doing trucks repair. It's uh, bigger, but it's basically the same as automotive. What you will see in my channel is sometimes I'll do video clips at my workplace to show you what I do and other times you'll see video clips of me doing vehicle repair at home. I also do home improvement repairs on my channel. Uh, now I'm not a professional but it's all about common sense when it comes to home improvement uh, repairs. I do have a little bit of uh, home improvement uh, skills way back uh, in the days when I 
uh, with this guy that uh, take me all the time to uh, repair houses and stuff. Plus, I'm a technician, so it's basically it's all common sense when it comes to home improvement repairs. And of course, you'll be seeing me doing video clips of me and my daughter Cass got together too. I do a lot of stuff on my channel. My channel is basically for anyone who just wants to relax their mind from a holiday at work. Thank you guys for watching this clip. Now please subscribe, like, and share my channel. See you on my next video.